The new Hogar 556 is now taking over rank play in Modern Warfare 3 Season 4 Reloaded. Ever since the Season 4 Reloaded update came out, they have unrestricted this gun. So now it actually hits harder than the MCW. And a lot less people are using the MCW because now it's been replaced by the Hogar 556. Even the MTZ 556 has been performing better than the MCW. In this gameplay, I'm going to show you guys the best Hogar 556 ranked class setup so it can get you guys and your boys to iridescent. If you guys think this is a W change for rank play, give this video a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. I'm curious to know if you guys also prefer to have this unrestricted or restricted. Just let me know. For the best Hogar 556 Pro class setup for the muzzle, you're going to want to start out with the Cassis Break. This is pretty much what most of the CDL players use and in rank play, it's going to help a ton with horizontal recoil control and fire and aim stability. For the barrel, you're going to want to use a Creos 6 match and this pretty much helps with bullet velocity range, recoil control, and gun kick control so you can be lasering people. For the optic, this is honestly my favorite, the MK3 reflector. I know some people like the Niter model, that one's great. Jack Glass's optic is also good, but the MK3 reflector is probably the best one in my opinion. For the stock, you're going to want to use the RB Addo assault stock because it further helps with recoil control and gun kick control. And finally, I would prefer you guys to use a DR6 hand stop because this is going to help a ton with mobility and handling as it is going to help improve ADS speed. So you can honestly remove the MK3 reflector and substitute for maybe another ADS mobility handling attachment or even the stock, but this is the one I preferred in my opinion. All right, this Holger 556 class setup is actually fire, bro. I think this is honestly, honestly is up there with the MCW. Now that the Holger 556, oh, this guy's AFK. Now that the 556 Holger has been unrestricted. Oh, what the fuck kind of skin is that? Is that the, I don't even know what it's called, bro. I think it's an anime Transformers kind of thing. I don't know. But then I wonder if the hitbox on that is just crazy. Cause that is a big body bend. Like, look at that. You can see that dude a mile away, bro. He stands out. There's no hiding from that dude. Honestly, you gotta be a big fan. Is it Gundam? Is that, it just came in my head. But you gotta be a big fan of that. Like, you see, like, he stands out like crazy. Personally, I would not even use that skin, bro. Like, let's say, you know, I love, like, Dragon Ball Z. They had a Goku one, you know, bright orange. I probably wouldn't rock it. Maybe if I know it's a bot lobby, but you can't just change it depending on the game, you know, the lobby it is. So... But he just stands out like you're asking to get fucking shit on, bro. It's great. Like, look at this. Like, if he was like a rose skin, the rose 3.0 skin, he would probably not be able to tell that dude was there. See, these are harder to look at. They kind of blend in with the background. You know? Oh, look at this guy, bro. <laughs> yeah, I would get my money back, bro, if I were you. But yeah, back to this Dr. Disrespect situation. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of reporters and a whole bunch of people. Yeah, look at this guy. Damn, I'm kind of frying out right now. Um, saying that he's confirmed talk to a minor and he actually came out with a tweet, a tweet, or I should say a post on X or on Twitter, whatever you want to call it, that he's not denying the allegations, but you can tell it's a very, very legal kind of statement. You know, he gave the most, I guess, like what somebody would say there in front of a judge kind of response. You know, he didn't go into any detail of it. It pretty much just said like, you know, he did do it and some of it could have been gone. You know, it looks bad, but it wasn't what it was. It looks like it's out of context. You know, I wonder if the messages are ever gonna be, you know, revealed out to the public. Maybe not because of legality reasons and the reasons, you know, that, you know, is out of our pay grade. But I am curious to know, damn, these, this team, DNA bomb, let's fucking go. See, I was just turning up, bro, and I fucking got this shit without even thinking about it. And that's one in the books. I wonder if I can get another one here. This is a nice lobby. Thanks to that guy with the bright, you know, pink skin. Yep, him, that guy, V Burns. He's giving me all the kills right here. Yep, I'm turning up right now. But, so I, I, I am curious to know what those messages were. Because um, there are two sides to every story as well. Like, but come on, man. You should not be flirting or doing any kind of thing. Especially to another female when you're married, bro, and have kids. And you know, not even knowing their age. Who knows if he do, if he did one of those things that like, oh, you know, if she never told me and never asked about it, it's all good. You know, technically, uh, it's not confirmed that I know that she's above 18. You know, still not okay. But 
He's lost partnerships with a lot of studios. Um, is Moon Studios one of them? It's one of them. Uh, a big corporation organization kind of booted him, so he had to step down. I know Nick Merckx came out with a statement saying that's totally unaccept unacceptable. Um, Tim the Fat Man as well. I know Face Wag as well, because he used to play a lot of Warzone with him and got closer to him, especially after he got that YouTube deal. Um, and I remember back in the day, Face Wag could not have, you know, collaborated with Dr. Disrespect when he was on Twitch because, you know, as we know, he's banned on Twitch and partially this is all logged and everything. And there's still a lot of diehard Dr. Disrespect fans saying he's innocent, he hasn't done any of this stuff. Um, you know, it's very interesting that people are still saying that, knowing that he already confirmed that he did it, you know. Honestly, that's crazy. Having the fan base that just still has you back after this is absolutely insane. You know, thinking about it, it's insane how his empire and his fans and almost everything deals all broke down within a whole, what, three days maybe? Maybe a week tops. And, you know, he said he's going to take a break off of streaming and content creation. He's going to go on vacation, you know, clear his mind with his family. You know, imagine how awkward it is being on vacation. It's not even like going on vacation for a good reason. Like, oh, you know, I've been grinding. I mean, just rest with the family. Like, you got to go on vacation thinking about, like, how everyone thinks you're, like, a, you know, a PDF. I don't know if I can say it because, you know, the YouTube algorithm might, you know, shadow ban me or something. But know that you've been confirmed a PDF and you've done all this. And I wonder how his wife feels. Like, I'm assuming his wife definitely knows. Like, it's not, like, new news, especially if there's lawyers involved. And, you know, it's been confirmed that there's been a settlement. Damn, throwing spamming grenades, bro. That there's been a settlement already done and technically there's no crimes that has been filed against him no criminal court case any of that oh no you know maybe money talks you know with the settlement money you know especially the guy with a lot of money it's crazy but in the other side of the spectrum i did see on twitter that has been unconfirmed but twitch employees were oh this renetti's turn it up let's get this guy right here you can be right oh what the fuck he just hit me with that grenade launcher shit. But it's been unconfirmed that it says on this tweet that Twitch employees were trying to frame him. And meaning that it was actually a over the age Twitch employee. I'm not sure the gender or whatever. But they were trying to get him. Oh, I just juked this guy. That they were trying to get him into committing something like something like this. So they were going out their way to try to get him in trouble. You know, regardless of it, he still did it. He's still wrong. But, you know, is this this show that Twitch has, like, their own personal agenda? Does this employee have, like, a vendetta against him or something like that? It's just something to think about. You know, I feel like there's still a lot that's not known. And I'm sure this is not the end. I'm sure that they're going to leak out a lot more. Um, maybe conversations or even other people. And oh, what the fuck? My name was kind of shaky there. Beaming. The oh, did he stick me? Oh, my God. That would have been a crazy. He, he probably yelled Kobe in real life. RIP Kobe, though. But it's uh, honestly scary, too, that people can just make up, you know, the situation. You know, like, oh, this guy, Dr. Disrespect, you know, saw me in person and touched me. Or he was sending me illicit photos and stuff like that, you know, not being true. It's like one of those things like when someone comes out against a celebrity like Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, and then someone said that he, you know, did something inappropriate with her and then all these other girls come out, but there's no actual proof. They just try to seize a moment, especially after, you know, a celebrity pay them off. Like, yo, dude, I didn't even do it, but I'm gonna just pay you just so you can shut up kind of thing. But, you know, there still hasn't been any solid evidence on the dialogue that's been happening, but it's been confirmed. I mean, he tweeted it. So I guess we'll just see, you know, how everything's gonna move on. It just shows you that everything online is scripted, recorded, you know, all them, you know, crazy comments that people put, or even the crazy statements that people put uh, verbally as well in the COD community, it's all recorded. I mean, you get it right there in the logs. If someone reports you for saying something crazy, like they can hear it. So, you know, you just gotta be smart, bro. Like, just don't be a dickhead, to be honestly. Damn, what the fuck? Hit this guy right here. I'm, am I about, I'm about to get my second one right now. Oh, wait. Let's see. I'm so close to my next one right here. Thank you. He's like literally giving me these free DNA bombs. Teammate got him good shit. Oh, my diary. No. See the scene? Bro, this guy. What the fuck? Oh my god. Let me get this guy. Juke. Bro, what the fuck? 
Nah, bro. Oh my god. I, I spoke way too soon, bro. I would have swore he got so much hit markers, bro, and he had no stims. Okay, I'm getting shit on now. All right, let's see. The game's about to end, too. In like a second. Let me try to get the final kill. Let me get this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Get a crazy clip right here. Where's this guy? Uh, teammate got it. Oh, right here. Shot him in the leg. Ooh. Gundam style. Mm, mm. That was random. Well, that's GG's, bro. I was turning the hell up right now.